here every week or every other week. This is part of their life. And it's really, really fun when I hear from parents and teachers when they say to the child, what's your favorite part of school? And they say, going to the garden. We're focusing on a lot of science and math down here. And we've been uh, using the garden to help teach measurements, the metric system, and the customary system, and the difference. Well, it definitely makes science more interesting, fun. I'm able to get kids outside doing science instead of being in the classroom with textbooks talking about science. Having a teaching space that's real for kids, having them grow their own food, be able to supply the food bank and the cafeterias, it just evolved because it was right place, right time, and exciting. Greenfield Growers is a hydroponic greenhouse uh, located here in uh, Cleveland uh, off of East 55th Street. We opened up about uh, two years ago and we're structured as a, a worker-owned cooperative. So the employees who you'll see here today are earning equity in this operation and will ultimately own this business. This is a, a hydroponic farm, meaning we grow everything in water, so there's no soil here. Uh, it's what we call a float bed system. So the lettuces and herbs that you'll see here today uh, grow uh, floating across ponds of nutrified water. Our facility is about three and a quarter acres of growing area, or roughly about 200,000 square feet. Uh, so it's very, very sizable. We have the capacity to do approximately three million heads of lettuce a year, in addition to about 300,000 pounds of herbs per year. What you'll see in the facility today is about a million gallons of water that we have at any given point in time, uh, but over 85% of that we've been successful in capturing off of these rooftops into some cisterns where we store that water before it gets purified and then nutrified and cycled back to those growing ponds. What makes Green City Growers unique as a growing facility is the high level of control that we have over pretty much all of the variables involved with farming. So, so while you're in your grocery store and you see our product, you'll notice that all of our packages all have the Cleveland Grown sticker on it. Um, and you'll also notice the little ladybugs as uh, pesticide free and non-GMO. Uh, the ladybug is actually what we use to control all of our pests or any pest problems that we might have. So when we release the ladybugs, what they do is they go and they hunt for any uh, invasive bugs. Um, they go ahead, they eat them all up, and then when they're all done, they kind of fly away. Um, release them uh, several times a week. It's a great operation. We're very proud of what we do here, uh, uh, building individual wealth for residents of our local neighborhoods while bringing better local produce to the, uh, to the Cleveland uh, area. Ouroboros Farm is an aquaponics farm where fish and produce grow together in a symbiotic relationship. All the nutrients are available to the plants at all times. They spend less energy putting out root systems and expend more energy in the growth. Here's how it works. In this pond, there are 800 catfish being raised on organic fish feed. Pipes then carry fish wastewater to troughs, where plants grow on floating racks. Their roots dangle in the water below, sucking up the nitrogen-rich fertilizer. The plants have taken out those nitrates and used all those nutrients out of the system. The clean water then gets returned to fish tank, where it gets re-nutrified and then begins the whole process again. Aquaponics is basically a combination of plant farm and fish farm. Another great advantage with aquaponics too is those fish can then be harvested out and used as a protein source. Self-contained ponds eliminate the need for fertilizers, pesticides, or pricey farm equipment. And though it may seem counterintuitive to grow vegetables in giant pools of water during one of the worst droughts in history, aquaponic farms use 90% less water than conventional farming because the water is continuously recycled and it's not lost in the soil or to evaporation. They could restrict our water usage by 80% and it wouldn't affect us at all. 